six weeks to go from saying, hey, let's print a car, to actually having a working vehicle, which is unheard of. Six weeks is insane. And what you're gonna see at the Detroit Auto Show is a car that's going to shock people. It's not gonna look like a printed vehicle. It's gonna look like a real car. As a matter of fact, it's gonna look like a real beautiful car. The lab is not an auto manufacturer. We're an auto innovator. We develop technologies that are gonna go on to cars in five years, 10 years. Things like wireless charging, like lightweight power electronics, like new drivetrains. So the reason that I believe that DOE's advanced manufacturing office got behind this was they saw that we didn't just want to repeat what had already been done, we want to push the technology forward. And so in a matter of six weeks, not only have we developed a car, we've developed new technologies. Number one, we quantified how much energy, how efficient this manufacturing process is. When you look at how much energy it takes to make a car, this is one of the most energy efficient ways to do it. It's absolutely shocking. Number two is the surface finish. When you look at the parts as they come off of the printers, they're relatively rough. And right now, the body is out at, at a local company, True Design, and they're, for the first time, starting to look at how do you really finish one of these printed bodies. They've really had to, to push the envelope on the, the chemistry of what paints, what bonding has to go on these materials to give you a really beautiful surface finish. So that was another thing that we've developed over the past six weeks, is the processes to give you an extremely smooth surface finish, not just for the Cobra, but for tools that could be used for the automotive manufacturing industry. Number three is the energy absorption. So can we design energy absorbing structures using additive we've never been able to do before? And really, to me, number four, the most important thing is just speed. The speed at which the national labs can work is absolutely amazing. Another thing that we're going to be highlighting and showing at the Detroit Auto Show is a mold. And, and typically, these molds are made out of aluminum or steel. They'll cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and take months to manufacture. And what we've shown is, instead of taking months to manufacture, we've made a mold in about two days. Instead of costs of hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's gonna be thousands of dollars. It makes you just much more adept, much more nimble, and, and I think that you'll see innovation just explode when this tool, these tools are in the hands of, of typical designers. Are we going to be printing cars in the near future? And, and the answer is, well, I, I don't know. I, highly unlikely in the next, in my lifetime, we're going to see mass production of printed vehicles. But the way we make prototype cars today is exactly the same way they made it 30, 40 years ago, which is clay models. What we're showing is we can go well beyond that now. You can go and print out a working prototype vehicle in weeks, in days and drive through the streets and look at people's involvement, look at people's excitement. You can test it for form, fit, and function. So your ability to innovate quickly has radically changed. I think there's a whole industry that can be built up uh, around rapid innovation in transportation. And that, again, is revolutionary.